Hello and welcome to Horses with Hula Chowdown. Today I will be doing kind of like general exercises you can do on a horse to gain flexibility, to gain confidence, just to generally feel more connected with your horse and the tack and to really emphasize like a proper position and feeling balanced well that seems like a lot from just stretches but really I find it does help a lot more than you think it would and I just kind of do them almost every time I ride when I'm warming up or when I'm cooling down just to keep myself a little more flexible keep myself from getting stiff and you know just generally stay a bit more limber and it really does help you from getting sore or at least as sore I find obviously you still get a little sore from riding but yeah I'm just gonna kind of show you what I do. It's best if you do this kind of stuff on a horse you either know or trust. Something that's not going to spook if you kind of wave your hands around or do all sorts of things. Luckily, Bella is really good for me. First, I'm going to start with doing just kind of, you know, getting my horse used to all the things in the arena like the poles the camera the noise like she's a good horse she's broke but we still have to kind of let her get used to things you know warm up a little bit get used to the fact that she's working because you know the other 23 hours she's kind of just doing her thing So, it's also important to make sure that you get a good walk going. You don't want the walk to be too slow, otherwise, it makes a lot of these balance exercises a lot harder than they should be. Your horse should be going, you know, in a proper medium to forward walk it just helps keep them straighter And of course, my horse has to, you know, take a poop right there. Right in the middle of the drop holes. Lovely. Okay, and here we go. I'm actually going to start right about now. Well, now. I'm going to start by just doing some 
arm circles forward all the way trying to keep my arm as straight as possible clearly i can't do two things at once i find this a little difficult so it's kind of good to get my coordination going then my brain's warmed up for when i'm actually doing difficult things so i'll do it forwards and backwards and then go the other way I like to hold the reins in my outside hand so then that way you can kind of just use the wall to steer or stop if you have to um, it's just easier that way so that's why I switched reins there just to switch my arms you don't have to do that if if you're confident that your horse is gonna be nice and calm for you I just like to take that precaution because Bella is a jumper she's not a lesson horse so sometimes she spooks and will get a little anxious it's just nice to know that I have that extra security there's my uncle and I think my dog. I made him take the lead. Took him a while. Okay. He said no more I think we're going to have a little chit chat. But then I think, you know, my uncle goes away. He's just going to go and watch. And then you can do toe touches. So basically you reach down and you touch your toe while trying to keep your shoulder straight and square, which seems a lot easier. And then you do it on a moving horse and it seems a lot more difficult than it originally was. And it's kind of funny because my horse also thinks that, like, I'm giving her a cookie. Here, I think I'm reaching forward, reaching down, and reaching back, forward, down, back. Just so she doesn't think that, like, I'm just giving her a cookie. Cause she will stop and be like, okay, hey, where's my treat? Yeah, she's a little spoiled, but that's okay. I don't mind that so much. She's a good horse. She does a lot for me, so. I'm gonna turn around and do it this way. I like to kind of do, I don't know, four, five at least in each direction. I mean, you can do as many as you like, as many as you can. I just like to kind of do a moderate number. I'm just doing it to kind of warm up, get myself moving. Yeah. Here, I'm just gonna lean back as far as I can, keeping my leg on, but not, you know, obviously my horse is sensitive, so it's hard to keep her to stand still and lean back and not at all touch her with my leg. But yeah, you pretty much just lean back as far as you can. You go as far back or as, I mean, you don't have to go all the way back. If you can't, you can't. It obviously depends too on the saddle. If you have a high back, then you can't go as far back. Like you, it might hurt, but yeah. You can do this at a standstill, walk. I guess you could do it at a trot and canter. I personally haven't ever done that, but if you live recklessly, you could do that. I would just make sure you know what you're doing first. 
I'm done the stretches for now, so if that's all you wanted to watch, then I'm done. But, yeah. Watch the rest of my ride if you want. It might be funny. And please remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just another amateur out there who, you know, knows a lot about horses, but really could be in better shape and probably could have better equitation. So don't hate me if I make mistakes. I'm learning like everyone else. If you have good comments or criticism, go ahead. I'm all ears. I also will explain if people have questions about what I'm doing. But really, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I am. I'm just doing the best I can with my horse and the knowledge I have. And, you know, sometimes things happen. I make mistakes. It's just what happens when you're learning. And that's what's happening. I'm learning. So, that there's just that. That little disclaimer. Enjoy the rest of the movie. If you're going to watch it. If not, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week.
do your feet. Bye-bye.